Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss the device control feature in Cortex XDR. During this session, we will look at the types of devices that can be controlled, device control profiles, exceptions, and custom device classes for extending control. Cortex XDR provides device hardening features which allow you to extend protection beyond the built-in prevention capabilities of XDR. The device control feature allows you to restrict what kinds of USB devices can be connected to and used with your endpoints, providing protection against USB device attacks as well as data exfiltration threats. The device control feature can be used by both pro per endpoint and prevent licensed customers and is available only for Windows and Mac devices. On Windows devices, Agent version 7.0 or higher is required and Mac OS requires agent version 7.2 or higher. Specific notes apply for Windows VDI environments. Please see the device control documentation for details. Setting up device control profiles and policies is done in the same way as protection policies, but in another location. To get started, navigate to Endpoints, Policy Management, and then click on Profiles under the Extension section. To add a new policy, Click on Add Profile, Create New. You will first need to select the platform that you will install the policy on, then select Device Configuration, click Next. Provide a name. And select the action you wish to take for each device type. In this example, we will set disk drives to read only and block all others. If you have created custom device types, you will be able to select the device type and an action. We'll discuss this more shortly. Let's create the policy. Once you've created this profile, you can next create an exceptions profile. Again, select the platform and select device exceptions. In this example, we are going to allow YubiKey devices. Give the exceptions profile a name select a type, in this case we'll select this drive, and we'll provide rewrite permission. You must select a vendor, if you wish to provide further refinement for the exception, you can select a product from the dropdown of a vendor and provide a serial number. Again, you will have the option to perform the same actions for custom device types. Use the virtual enter key to create your exception and then create, click create to create the profile. Now that we have our device configuration and device exception profiles, we'll create a new policy to apply these by going to policies and create new, provide in a name, select the platform and select the policy we just created. Click Next, and you'll be able to select your endpoint targeting parameters or assign statically to endpoints. Click Next to see a summary, review your options, and click Done to create the policy. As with protection profiles and protection policies, you will have to click Save to apply your changes. While Cortex XDR supports only the previously discussed device types out of the box, Device control functionality can be extended to other device types on Windows systems. To create a custom device type, go to the Device Management page located under the Policy Management section. Here, you can specify custom device types by providing the GUID supplied from Windows. You can find these GUIDs on Microsoft's Device Class Documentation page, a link to which is provided in the summary notes below. Once created, these device types can be used in device control profiles along with the built-in types. As we discussed, device control policies are one way to leverage Cortex-XDR to harden your endpoints against other attack types as well as threats like data exfiltration. Device control profiles and policies are created in the same way as prevention profiles and can be assigned to Windows and Mac OS endpoints. In addition to the built-in types, Custom device types can be specified to control additional USB device types like keyboards and mice. 
Thank you for watching. Have a great day.